Hello viewers, welcome to Adbondhan YouTube channel. I am Mohamad Shwanuraman Shohag with you. Now I am talking about different type of electrical wiring. If you are new to my channel, please be subscribed and stay with me. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. So viewers, let's start. Electrical wiring. Electrical wiring is an electrical installation of cabling and associated devices such as switches, distribution boards, sockets and light fitting in a structure. In other words, electrical wiring is the electrical power distribution through the wires in a perfect manner for economic use of wiring conductor inside a room or building with better load control. In this video, we will discuss about types of electrical wiring. Type of electrical wiring. Number one, internal wiring. Number two, overhead wiring. Number three, underground wiring. Internal or housing wiring. Internal or housing wiring consists of an electrical wiring system that distributes energy to be used in equipment and appliance around the houses or indoor. It also involves the proper installation and Operation of the electrical outlets, switches, breakers, meters, base and different electrical circuit. Internal wiring are also classified into four more types. Number one, cleat wiring. Number two, passing wiring. Number three, batten wiring. And number four, conduit wiring. Overhead wiring. An overhead wiring or overhead power line is a structure used in electric power transmission and distribution to transmit electrical energy along large distance. It consists of one or more conductor suspended by towers or poles. Since most of the insulation is provided by air, overhead power lines are generally the lowest cost method of power transmission for large quantities of electric energy. Underground wiring. Underground wiring is the replacement of overhead wiring providing electrical power or telecommunication with underground cables. This is typically performed for fire prevention and to make the power lines less susceptible to outgas during high wind, thunderstorm or heavy snow or ice storm. An added benefit of undergrounding is the attached quality of landscape without the power line. Undergrounding can increase the initial cost of electric power transmission and distribution, but may be decrease operational cost over the lifetime of the cable. So viewers, that's my video. If you like my video, please like and share my video to your friend. Thanks for watching my video and thanks for being with me. Thank you so much.